Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're talking about a knife that I have that I just got that reminds me a lot of the Medford USMC Fighter Flipper. If you guys don't know, this is a USA made knife by Medford Knives, and it's to pay homage or in reminiscent of the USMC K bar. And you can see, like, the handle looks like a leather wrapping, like the original K bar. You know, head basher down there. Um, it just has a lot of similarities. Now, this new knife I have is from Tucson, and it is the Tucson TS394. And it's a Wong design, but if you really look at it, you can see where I'm going with this. There's a lot of similarities here um, between the flipper tab, the, the type of blade shape, the, the hand guard, the way, you know, like it, it's, you know, ergos are. Now, the ergos feel very different. This is contoured, and it's actually very, very comfortable. Um, we'll go more into that in a second. But it just reminds me so much of that knife. Now, let's go into this, because this thing has surprising geometry it is very thin behind the edge i measured it at about 12 thousandths behind the edge with their edge angle after if i if i reprofile it and i lay back my angle as far as i'd like to go it'll still be 15 thousandths behind the edge so amazing cutting geometry then we have these g10 scales over a titanium frame lock now if you take these scales off it's still a frame lock like you could take the scales off and use it just like a regular knife there's not going to be an over travel stop to the lock bar so you got to make sure you don't unbend your lock bar but there's a lot of knives that don't have over travel stops but other than that i mean it, it's a frame lock um but then you have these scales over the top which add to the ergos you know adds an over travel stop to the lock bar and you know just makes it a little bit more ergonomic and more comfortable in the hand a little bit more palm filling now the when i look at it i see a canvas this looks like a very easy cut that somebody could do with some really nice micarta, some nice wood or whatever, fill in the blank, because it's just a flat slab of G10 with two really beefy screws. So you have two screws holding it in, two T8s that are very beefy holding on the scales onto this titanium frame lock. It does have a backspacer with a lanyard hole because it does not have a clip. That's the downfall. It does not have a clip, which I hate. I wish it did. The thing is, though, is that this G10 is very grippy, so I don't know how well it would work, you know, going in and out of the pocket. It would have to be a specific type of clip to work on this type of G10 or this type of milling, but it's still pretty cool. Um and it's super comfortable in the hand because it doesn't have a clip. Now, let's go into the action, then we'll talk a little bit more about the ergos and stuff. So, the action, it has a flipper tab that works great. Great detent, stupid smooth on the drop. It does have a, um, a detent ramp, so when you hit the detent, you can just shake right past it. But you can also just let it drop right past it too. So, very easy to get past the detent. Then you have this fuller for a reverse flick. That works very well. Then you have the thumb studs. Lots of forms of deployment. I like to reverse flick off the thumb stud too. That works really, really well. Now, it does have um, a regular stop pin instead of an internal stop pin. You'd think they would have went with an internal stop pin, but it is a nice beefy stop pin. So, the lockup is rock solid. It is absolutely vault-like. Um, nice, big, ceramic, caged plastic bearings, which are going to help with the pivot stability. So, you know, it makes... It's a big pivot. So, not that the pivot screw is big, but the actual pivot itself, um, you know, has nice big bearings and everything for this large knife. So... Cutting performance, I haven't used it yet, but it, it would be very, very good. Um, you can choke up. I can almost use my whole finger with this finger choil, so it's a nice big finger choil. I can uh, get up to my second knuckle comfortably. Anything past that, yeah, it is a little bit tight, but you know it works like this comfortably, and if you hold it with your first knuckle, you got plenty of room, um, at least as far as my hands go. But yeah, it's going to be very ergonomic, um, very well balanced, easy to manipulate, um, and 
kind of cool you know like i could see chopping with this thing a little bit a little bit more harder use stuff you know you do have a nice durable thick spine now the blade shape is you know it's a drop point blade so it's going to be a very versatile blade shape you can do utility cuts if you need to you can do push cuts reverse grip cuts very easily pinch grips you have this little chamfer on each one of the g10 so you can do pinch grips if you really wanted to yeah it's pretty cool. My biggest downfall, the biggest thing I do dislike and I'm upset about is no clip. I wish there was a clip, but you know, I kind of understand why they didn't do it. And I still think it's still a cool blank canvas for somebody that wants to learn how to make scales or possibly, you know, loves the look of this thing, but would just love to see it with some micarta scales. And in that case, you could add your own clip. And technically you could do that to this too. You could, you know, tap some, some holes and, and you know, get a clip. So, uh, but anyways, um, it was pretty affordable. I did get it for a really good deal. I will link everything down in the description. Um, it is only D2 steel. So that is another, you could consider it a negative. I will say it does have a stone washed blade. So that's going to help with corrosion. Um, good looking blade too. Very good looking blade. Um, but yeah, D2 steel. So, you know, it's, it should have it should have relatively good edge retention. Um, toothy edge is what it's going to do best with. So I would say between 400 and 600 grit is where I personally like to keep it. 600 grit I think is just a great all around um, grit finish for D2. Um, you could obviously put a low angle on it because you have all the room in the world to do it and you know it'll only increase the cutting performance and edge retention and you know you have the ability to do it with a knife like this you can lower back the angle so far on this so um lo lots of great things about this but anyways um just a quick look at the new tucson ts394 i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace